welcome parents of Virgo children to parental guidance. Uh, this is your message for January 2020. Happy New Year. Um, if you'd like a reading with me for your child, for yourself, excuse me, um, click the link below. It's 45 minutes for $35. Um, also help us reach 109 subscribers to unlock your child's 2020 forecast. Uh, let's get started with you first. So you have your card in reverse. Uh, your action is thwarted. There's something, um, if you can see this card, probably not clearly, but you get the image of this woman looking out over the horizon, like it's mountains or something, but she's just standing like, hey, here I am, taking it all in. Uh, you know, she's the center of light, and this card is in reverse. So I don't want to say things are crashing down because that's really, really harsh and somewhat inaccurate. Um, but I do get the sense that um, something will be delayed, will be stalled. Um, there is some kind, like if you're moving, if you're wanting to move forward, there's something that's going to interrupt this, um, get in the way and not just get in the way, it's just gonna stop it. Um, and more so for an opportunity for reevaluation that were came through. And, um, you know, is this really what you wanna do? Like, I feel that it's a project that got the green light, you have been well on your way, but there's just something that comes along out of nowhere that interrupts and you're, you're gonna fight it at first, but the reality of it is, is this interruption comes on purpose to show you the flaws in your plan and also to provide you a new direction, a new refined direction that um, is actually going to bring you more happiness than you thought this would. So um, that's what I'm getting for parents and we'll explore what that is in a moment. So looking for your Virgo children, um, Okay, a lot of cards in the reverse this month for the mood. Mm. All right. Ouch. <laughs> yeah, nothing's going to go right for your child either this month. Sorry to say that. Um, and I, I don't want to say nothing at all. <sighs> But I'm getting in the area of just, you know, plans or there's interruptions. There is things in limbo. There are things that don't go the way that they hoped or that they had anticipated. Um, and it's just asking them to be patient. So their mood, they have the orange card in reverse. It says nurture yourself. This would say that your child needs to nurture themselves, that they are, um, you know, a little depleted. Excuse me, it's stressing the importance of nurturing the self. In reverse, um, I'm not getting that your child doesn't need to nurture themselves. That may be for a few, but the overall message that I'm getting is that your child is past. It's, I feel like their mood is just, um, I don't want to say all over the place. They want, to, they want to be grounded, but they may find it very difficult to be still. I see distraction. I see, you know, yeah, I need to nurture myself, but, excuse me, there's all these other things that they may feel that are in the way first. Um, they're definitely one foot in something, one foot in the other. There's a transition happening. I don't wanna say chaos, my goodness, but you know, I even see like, even though this is just a ribbon and you may not be able to see that well, but this little thing is like a ribbon here. And it looks like a double helix to me. I see DNA. Your child could be, 
you know, this for whoever this applies to, there could be um, a transformation. It could deal with their health. Um, I'm definitely seeing health issues for some. Coming out of the old, they're in a, a transition of health, like coming out of something and progressing and getting better, healing. And, and if that's the case, it's like maybe they can't nurture themselves the way that they want to because they are restricted, especially if they're like at a hospital stay or something of that nature. And I'm not trying to, um, you know, prof profess this or put it out there like that. Um, but there's just something hindering their, your child's ability to nurture themselves. And they're in a transition. It could be health. It could be some kind of moving, but it's it's coming from the old and what no longer serves them into the new, um, into a better place. Relationship dynamics in the reverse. Um, uh, I'm feeling a strong like hindrance uh, in relationship. Like some, like I feel like. Somebody is interrupting, like somebody is intentionally trying to create something, like negative feelings, negative influences. Somebody purposefully drops the ball. Somebody doesn't want to help. Someone chooses to act in a manner that is not helpful concerning your child. This is, I need clarity. This happens a lot with Virgos. I do not know why. I don't know if it's because I have Virgo energy, like in my Mars, but for a lot of times, I have to get clarifying messages for Virgos because a lot of times they've just had like some really hard messages consistently, more than any other sign that I've done. You know, sometimes it's Aquarius, but most of the time it's um, Virgo, whoever's watching, like they have mother issues or parent issues, something like that. Um, the solution is they have become the true you, show the world who you really are and what you were born to do. I need clarification because this, this is wonky. All right. Um, after like further, further, further meditation, um, and just really just sitting on this a little bit, it's the same person. Like, I don't know. For, for as long as I've been doing these readings, it's the same mother-daughter dynamic where the mom is like narcissistic and keeps messing with the daughter. And, um, you know, that's, that's the narrative, that's the energy that I'm getting. It's like a toxic mom. And I don't know who this person is. I don't know if it's the parent that's watching or the child that's watching, but throughout my videos, you know, for over a year now, there's this message of, some kind of toxic mother connection that comes up for Virgos. And it's this person again, like this mother is unstable. And I, I mean, unfit, like they cause, they, because of the crap within themselves, they cause so much upheaval, so much distraction, you know, just so much chaos and mess. And if you're the parent watching and you're related to this mother figure, um, you know, Maybe you're the dad and you were once in a relationship with this person and maybe you have like full custody of the child or you're an adult, the child has grown, whatever, but there's just some kind of mother toxicity that this Virgo child is dealing with. That's, that's one of the things. It's just to to mother toxicity is what came up. It's, it's a relationship and it's the same person. So I am going to pull from three different decks for clarification, um, and let's just get into it. So, let's see. Longer message than expected, but obviously, for you and me both, this needs to be said and done. All right, Marcy, universe, please clarify 
between worlds. Oh. <laughs> yes, it's time for you, my child, to take action. And then maybe something that you need to let go. Either this person, whoever this, this person is, if you're the child, if you're an adult child and you're watching, or you're a parent that is not the toxic mom, and hopefully you're not the toxic mom cross watching, because I, I don't know if you have if you're in the child's life or not, but you're like I said before, your child wants to nurture your, themselves, but there's a hindrance, and the child has to you know they're in between they're in both worlds like. I want growth, but I'm feeling this. And now they're, the spirit is like saying, okay, you need to take action. You know, F all of this. This is your past. Push yourself to get here. So whatever it is, it's definitely, um, and you're not going to be able to see that. It's definitely this need to take action. It's time to take action. It's time to put an end to this, this back and forth. It's time to stop this. <sighs> Man. Anywho, let's talk about these family dynamics. What is going on with that? Thank you, Holy Spirit. What is the messages for family dynamics? Please clarify the source and reason or what um, needs to be known about these family dynamics, please. One card, please, if possible. What was that? Yeah. I mean, just looking, this isn't, I'm going to put this back in the deck, but you have power in reverse. So this person is your power, and this person, you see how dark their energy is? they are functioning at a lower vibration definitely they are whoever this is is functioning at a lower vibration to zap and take your power and thank you and it it, it can leave you drained but what you need to know is that's that's what it is don't let this person take your power they are uh fear is not real the only thing that is real is love and because of this person's unhealed wound, they're choosing to try to latch on to, to you, your child, and, and make them feel, to make themselves feel better because of what they lack. And instead of dealing with themselves and healing themselves, they have just become a um, parasite and try to take from others instead of doing what they need to do to heal themselves. Because they're, they're functioning, they're choosing that to listen to and subscribe, subscribe to a lower vibration as a parent that is absurd. Many parents do, but they're not good parents. Anyway, just clarify the relationship dynamics, please. Okay, thank you. Yeah. This person has made you feel not beautiful. And that's not the truth. You need to continue to see the beauty in the small things, regrow your strength. And by doing that, you can change your, your thing, your concept of being able to nurture yourself. You don't feel, you want to nurture yourself, but you don't know where to start. And whoever this person is, they've made you feel like you're not beautiful. These toxic family and relationship dynamics, whoever this is, this person has stolen your power, or you, let's just say that, they have been able to tap into your power and zap it. And you no longer feel like you have the strength to nurture yourself. You want to, but it's just it's too depressing, so heavy. And they've, it's like, they've told you that you're not beautiful. They've, they've, they've um, crushed your self-esteem because of their lack of beauty. And what Spirit is telling you is that's not true. And you need to begin to see the beauty in the small things so that you can begin to see the beauty in yourself. You know, by choosing to um, 
And look how that lights up. That's who you are. Surround yourself with encouraging people. Your child needs to be surrounded by encouraging people. Because whoever this woman is, she's not healthy. And she should not have access to your child at all. And if you are an adult and this is your mom, cut her off. Parasites can't survive without a host. You killed the parasite by robbing them of a hospitable um, environment. That is how parasites die. You have to take away what they need to survive. And if they need attention, take the attention away. If they need access to a host, cut that access off. Then they need to find another host if they want to survive. Anyway, moving on. I'm like, I'm sorry that this has to, you know, that this is your reality, that this person is hindering your ability to um, become the true you, that you feel like there is um, a wall. But just keep in mind that that person who's doing this, they're unhealthy and they're undeserving of your time and your energy. Just, I don't care if they're your mom or not. I don't care if it's grandma or whoever. I don't care if it's an auntie, but it's some kind of woman who feels the need that they can just say whatever they want about you. And, you know, cut that crap off just because they're X, Y, and Z. That doesn't mean anything. Yeah, you're not a failure. This is how you feel. This is how they try to make you feel. But you're not a failure by any means. They may have zapped your courage, but that's because of them. They're a failure, not you. They don't have the courage to do the right thing by themselves, so misery loves company. They need to surrender, and you need to surrender. Let, let this bullshit go. All right. Use your imagination. Think outside the box and be free. Okay? Oh. All right. Let's pull this last card clarifying um you know so this it's like you want to nurture yourself you want healthy relationships you want this dynamic to be cut off you feel like you're in your head and in between and you want to be your your true self but you can't and the encouraging words the spirit is telling you is now it's time you have everything that you need you are beautiful take the step and cut the shit off All right, I'm gonna see if we can shuffle perhaps a month. You only got one life. Live it, live your best life. And if anything is not serving you, if anything is not making you happy, cut that shit off. Cut it off, cut it out, get it out. You need to be happy. Bam. Happiness card. Take pride in yourself. <laughs> I want to get to a card that comes out, but spirit is just speaking to me. And, you know, there's a level of forgiveness. Forgive yourself. Let them, you know, forgive what, understand that this person, this is what I learned yesterday. That what you, nobody can hurt you without your permission. Nobody can hurt you without your permission. So forgive yourself for opening that door. And take pride. I, said, I know pride came out. But, you know, discover your purpose. Forgive yourself for letting that person have um, access to you. And close that door. They don't have, they have yet to discover their, their purpose, but that doesn't mean that they have to take yours. You don't have to allow them to take your purpose anymore. See if I can... Finally, yep, yeah. it's going to take discipline. I saw discipline come out. All right, I'm going to try my best to not look at the cards and just pull until it's time. But yeah, that's what it is. Growth, something's dying. Good stuff. All right, Holy Spirit, help me. <laughs> help me stop going through these cards. It's like, yes. 
there's just so many good messages coming out when I, it's like I'm tempted to like turn over the cards. Envy, yes, purpose came out, self-esteem. You know what you gotta do. This message feels better already. And we haven't even got to the parents yet. But you gotta cut that shit out. If you're an adult child watching this message, an adult Virgo, cut this woman out. Whoever she is, she's not helpful to you. She's a, a, not only a distraction, but her dysfunction is just too much. Let her go. It could be a male with a mother influence, but cut this woman out. She's toxic. She doesn't like herself. She needs to go. And I guess my Capricorn moon just is like, I ain't got time for it. You're done. Bye. You're, it's like, keep it moving. I'm done. All right. What do we know? Oh. Wow. See? Didn't these cards come out? Yep. Interesting. So self-esteem, surrender. The solution is you're like this is where you are right now. You need to surrender. You know, you're it's like you're like, I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to become my true self. I don't know how to, it's, it's like the card is saying, show the world who you really are and do what you were born to do. But I, I'm afraid, I don't know how. Well, it's because you have yet to surrender to what you think you, do, you owe everybody else. You have, have to, you have yet to surrender to what expectations you've placed on yourself that you think everybody else wants. You gotta listen to you, honey. Listen to you. Love yourself enough to let it go. And it goes hand in hand with self-esteem. Your self-esteem is low because you're basing it off of everybody else. You gotta surrender. Let go of those cares and concern, concerns about everybody else and their thinking and love yourself. Love yourself. Self-esteem. Self Esteem yourself. Think value uh, yourself. Think highly of yourself more than anybody else. If you don't esteem yourself, nobody else will. So regardless of what this person did in their lower energy and vibration, you have got to value yourself. All right? That's your message. Um, very powerful, Virgos. Very powerful. All right, for parents, I'm resilient. Yeah, you feel like you can't get through. You feel like there's this block, like this block in the way, and you feel like you can't overcome it. It says, I am a solid rock, or a rock solid superstar ready to take on the day. I am meant to be great, and yes, I might fail, but the harder I fail, the higher I will bounce. I will always get back up and I will better myself because of it. I welcome each lesson. I am resilient. No, you're not feeling very resilient. There's a block. Um, it could be emotional, it could be work, but I really feel that whatever plan you've been working on, there is something that has hindered it. Um, and it just brings it to a dead stop where you cannot get around it. And now is the time for you to think outside the box, okay? Um, if you'd like more clarity on that message, please reach out to me and let's have a talk. Um, it's 45 minutes for $35. Um, very reasonable. So I'm sorry and sad that this is the beginning to your new year, but, um, it's not how you start is how you finish. And I know when I look at 2019 at the beginning as to where I am now, I am in a much better place. I've learned the lessons that I need to, and I feel so much better than um, what I did when I started. So thanks, you guys, for watching, liking, sharing, and subscribing. Happy New Year, and have a great day.